Hello everyone and welcome now to game number one in the series between Lucifer and Lolulet. Yes, this is coming in from Garacop75. Thank you to the individual who released the replays. Gara Cup, one of the longest European cups that are still running to this day and really keeping the Warcraft 3 scene alive. For those of you guys who have not visited the Ting Warcraft Invitational uh, website, please do so. You can search um, Ting um, in my recent videos and it will show up. Um, any donation is going to be helpful and also you can use some of the promo codes out there in order to just show that, you know what, even though if you don't have a dollar to give, Ting will give you a dollar to give until all of those coupons are finally used up. Um, definitely, definitely going to be able to cast some of those games once those games are released. Um, I, hopefully, I'm not going to be stepping on anyone at ESL's toes. I, I know Todd is going to be doing some of the English casting as well for that particular tournament. And he's also thrown out some uh, what crowdfunding support where he'll play an arranged team game with you if you do sponsor um, $100. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down as we are getting underway with game number one in this series. It is a Night Elf vs. Undead. I'm not quite sure why the Gera Cup has so many Night Elf vs. Undeads in the later rounds. Perhaps it is um, well, the lack of the, I guess, more of the Asian players, the Chinese and the Korean players who um, do often play a little bit more human. And human and orc so we'll, we'll see how all of that works here or human orc as we're now looking at a warden going up against a death knight now we can see that the tomb of relics is already up and we a do not see a graveyard attack. this does mean that we will be opening with ghouls as the archer off over here now clearing out this 333 creep camp ancient of we're gonna do a good job just absorbing that damage as the Warden is going to follow this up. Now, because of the Warden, I am expecting solo hero play, and the Warden is going to be particularly effective against those early ghouls. Shadow Strike, particularly level 2 Shadow Strike, is very, very powerful, and oftentimes a Warden can get to level 3 before the Death Knight gets to level 2. Also, if the Death Knight, like this Death Knight here, grabs Unholy Aura before Death Coil, Level 2 Shadow Strike can easily finish off ghouls well before their time. We are looking at the Death Knight now wandering around inside here, and we are going to be looking at Wisp trying to hide in every which corner of the map that it is difficult for them to get to. You can see there are a lot of Wisp down over here. You can see one, the Skeletal Minions are trying to jump inside here, and now the units are going to be going inside these gold mines. You can take a look back inside here. Going to go ahead and hide as the Skeletal Minions now pelting arrows on those Skeletal Minions there. Now, all this time is so that the Death Knight can tech to Tier 2, and he also did train a large number of ghouls, so he is going to really be pushing down the pressure. Lucifer wants to try and deal a detrimental blow to Laluette, in which he will not fully recover. He will then be able to follow it up with the Lich, perhaps the Naga Sea Witch, and then push on some of those slowed down or lower hit point units. Laluette, oh my goodness! Somehow, Lalu, what is able to escape a uh, seven units? So is that seven units? That's nine. Is no on six. Oh my gosh, they're moving. I can't count. Okay, it's eight units. That's seven ghouls. It's so much more difficult to count when you can't highlight them to figure it out. As the warden still wandering around off over here. Archer is now looking to back off here. There is the second the Ancient of War still attack. training up more and more archers as the Ancient of War off over here has made its way over. Now this skeletal minion was hoping to actually get or steal some experience but not going to be able to do so. Meanwhile, the ghouls are now making their way inside the base going straight after a nearly full or a half fold Moonwell. Moonwell going to suffer a lot of damage here. This is going to be a very, very big blow. The Warden needs to come in, perhaps get in some Fan of Knives and then replenish some of that mana. No, the Wisp are going to be able to back it off instead as Players all the Death Knight was really attack. able to do was deal damage to a Moonwell. Not very, very good use of that time so far as he is still behind in the experience race. If the Death Knight can in fact get to level 2 or level 3, level 2 on that Shadow Strike, things are going to get very, very sticky as that Warden still wandering around here. Perhaps is going to go Fan of Knives. We have not seen the ability from that Warden just quite yet. 
All that warding is right now is an overglorified high armor knight, low hit point knight right now. As the warden does deal fairly decent damage, has a good melee attack as now we see a shadow strike coming across. All right, warden now finally invests into a shadow strike. It looks as though one ghoul will get taken down. The warden can easily finish off more as the death knight does not have the experience in, or the level in order to f uh, train up level two un or level two and, and get that death coil. All right, warden still going after this unit here, but the naga Sewage doing a great job poking down that warden the warden however with boots of speed able to get away and is now trying to perhaps just stay out of sight range as this is nightfall and well during night undead units generally cannot Players see nearly as far night elf units without ultra vision cannot see as far either all right the warden now going to be making its way over here to the top right and a little bit of a hard comings for a Lucifer who is now going to find it that much more difficult to get the Death Knight to level 2. With a Naga Sea Witch in play as well, the experience is going to be split between those heroes, and that means that the Death or the Shadow Strike may in fact get to level 3 before the Death Knight gets to level 2 and no un un Death Coil. Now, back down across over here, Forest Troll Trapper now taking a little bit of damage. Alright, are we going to see the Warden now coming back across over here? Ogre Magi taking some damage as the Death Knight now taking some damage as well. We are seeing focus all around as the ghouls are trying to get within melee range here. All right, Warden does get a shadow strike off onto a ghoul. There goes another as the Warden is still looking to focus down another. Is it going to be able to focus down that one particular ghoul there? Not quite sure as the oh, ghoul please. is now looking to back off. Attack. Where is he going to be going next? Not quite sure now. Archer now making its way over here to the top right. Archer making its way over there to the top right as the Death Knight wants to finish off perhaps this Ogre Magi and get to level 2. It will be able to do exactly that, but the Warden is right there. Shadow strikes and steals it. Beautiful play by Laluette, but the Wand of Mana Stealing did go to the Death Knight. That means no... Well, are we going to see an additional Shadow Strike there as another Cold Arrow does land? Shadow Strike onto the Death Knight here. Damage now being dealt. It looks as though an Archer will get taken down, but the Death Knight still sitting at level 1 does have a Punishment attack. Potion and well has a wand of mana stealing as well all right units now making its way back down across over here warden looking to get back up to full did use a moonstone to get artificial nightfall once again but that warden sitting at level three with level two shadow strike going up against a level one death knight you see those ghouls just getting torn apart as we now see the eventual transition to crypt fiends those crypt fiends Players higher up on hit attack. points the natural progression but laluette may have gotten enough experience and dealt enough damage already as we see the warden now sitting at level three is going to pick up staff of teleportation yes he does picks up the staff of teleportation has used the potion of invisibility already and you know he's going to be going straight for this acolyte gold mine one shadow strike or two shadow strikes later um, even though the Black Citadel is finished um, finished upgrading, a force is it does cost attack. a good amount of mana in order to do all that. As we now see, a scroll of the beast was stolen. All right, so instead of going after the Acolyte Goldmine as I originally expected, which would not have been that great of a play since the Black Citadel upgrade is already done and Acolytes could have been trained immediately, he stole a little bit more experience once more. We are looking at Tree Eternity, we are looking at Nature's Blessings and the training Training of um, is it adapt training? No, um, true of oh, adapt training just now attack. getting underway. So that means rejuvenation now being researched, not even going into bear form. There is the warden off over here. What is the warden hoping to do? It could perhaps get a shadow strike down onto a unit or two. As we see the warden now just wandering around across over here. This has actually got to be a, a, a bit of a mistake. Seeing that now at level four, what's going to happen? All right, he's going to finish it off. Picks up, no, Book of the Dead goes to the Death Knight. The Warden does not get the experience either as the Warden now tries to slip away back off to the north. All right, Naga Sewage does in fact have the Orb of Corruption. The Lich has not yet joined. No, wait, no, Lich has just now joined Players in on the fight. Orb of Corruption rarely ever sits on the Naga Sea Witch as it does counteract those cold arrows. Lich sitting at level one now with that Orb of Corruption. Very, very powerful item with that uh, armor debuff. Frost Nova onto the Overlord, uh, making the Overlord attack slightly slower, counteracting that bloodlust, sort of, as we now see Legion Doomhorn 
on a death knight. All right, talking about shopping for an accessory when you really don't need it, that Death Knight most likely will return that gift at his local gift shop. Back across over here, Warden now making his way back up the ramp and going to finish off this Ogre Magi Creep Camp, preferably picking up a very powerful item. It looks like it will be a Book of the Dead, and Book of the Dead is one of those items that, well, against an undead player has a very, very short shelf life. Once these Obsidian Statues finish their upgrade and are able to transform into destroyers, the Book of the Dead becomes more of a liability than an asset. Warden still sitting at level 4 right now, though Skeletal Minion does sneak on by. Players forces as the Warden attack. seems to be ready to go, it looks as though he did return that book for an Orb of Venom, allowing him to attack and take down those destroyers if they choose to no longer be Obsidian Statues. Ancient of War in that front position has taken a fair bit of damage, will get taken down. Warden not going to be able to do very much. Is he going to take some damage? Yes, there's some cold arrow. There's some damage being dealt back as the Death Knight now wanders away. Ancient of Lore getting abolished magic. Crypt Fiends now with that range attack. Lucifer slowly whittling away at the, at the Altar of Elders down across over here. You can see... Druids of the Claw and Dryads now perhaps trying to run around and attack from the back. I'm not really quite sure what the long-term game plan here as the Altar of Elders will end up getting taken out. Now, Warden still sitting at level 3 here chooses to well, back away once more, uses another Moonstone, picks up a Circuit of Nobility, and is now trying to fight his way through this, well, rather impressive army. Fork Lightning comes down across two Wisp, another Ancient Protector gonna get taken down as the Warden now sits at level five. All right, Warden is Shadow Melded right now, will be able to get within combat range of that Death Knight in just a moment. We have Artificial Nightfall, Shadow Strike does come down across again, as it now hides back off to the north, doing the moon uh, what does moon well circuit mobility strategy in mid fight. Warden at down to 272 mana as he's going to continue to fight and now going after the Death Knight. Death Knight in serious trouble. Is it going to be able to escape? Does you, do you actually take damage while in a Goblin Zeppelin? We will find out. And yes, you do. The Death Knight has fallen at level three while sitting in a Goblin Zeppelin. Naga Sea, which is currently invulnerable, unable to take any damage whatsoever. Staff of Preservation saving Warden, still trying to fight her way out of a very, very sticky situation, and it does blink away back off to the north. Very, very big play there. Meanwhile, uh, Scroll of Town Portal, that Naga Sea, or excuse me, that Warden able to escape, dropping the Circle of Nobility, picking it back up, and now using that Clarity Potion once more rejuvenation should be coming in momentarily the druids of the claw obviously do have that mastery form as we did see bears in that last fight death knight resurrected at the tavern that is a very very expensive hero to resurrect at, at level three as you see now the warden gonna come back around L is it gonna try and go after these units i do not believe so the warden does not want to try and engage that Death Knight, especially with Obsidian Statues offering a bit of support. Now the Warden is sitting at level 5. The Warden could easily take down a ghoul, all the ghouls down over here, and that would not, well, would not give level, level 6. Meanwhile, back down across over here, you're going to see the Dryads and the Bears come across, and this is going to be a very big deal. Attacking while all the units are away, one Crypt Fiend just going to get lost for poking her head up a hill as more units are now retreating back. Not quite sure what the Death Knight is really hoping to do. You can see double expansions coming in from Lalouette. He's hoping that this game goes long as the Dryads are now reinforcing. And oh, there's a couple of Abolish Magics there. All right, Warden at 916 right now could perhaps try and take down some unit that is getting caught in transit. And I think that's really what Lalouette is hoping for taking down a four supply unit getting the warden up to level six after taking down a ghoul or two would be extremely 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 beneficial as lollywood now backing up inside his base it does not look like we are going to be seeing any reinforcements anytime soon the bears are now trying to engage as the abominations are in the back there all right frost nova there is a roar this druid of the cloud needs to get all the way to the backfield 
as we now see the warden still trying to come down across over here is it going to get to is it going to get to level six yes it is gets to level six now teleporting off to the north gonna drop the avatar of vengeance here in just a moment and now everything is going to be switching back the other way bears ready to go there's devour magic as a destroyer now giving in some extra damage staff of preservation saves a druid of the claw another bear however not so lucky as the destroyer also goes down avatar of vengeance still fighting its way strong death knight down to 240 hit points trying to back away as the druids of the claw are now backing up once again there goes a the destroyer there goes a crypt fiend and that is the game laluette getting level six on the warden teleporting all the way back home in order to take game number one thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game one please stay tuned for game number two